Jesus only swear or affirm the testimony about the given in the case now on trial will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, son of God. Have a seat, Mr. Banks. Excuse me, Drew, your name, please, sir. My name is Michael Allen Mays. Hi, who are you for? I work for the Knox County Emergency Communications District, 911. Can you tell us what your duties are with 911 Center? I'm the custodian of the records. And as part of your duties, have you been asked to bring certain 911 uh, calls uh, that you're responsible for? Yes, sir. And I'm probably covering four different days, is that correct? There was uh, four different incidents. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, four different incidents, I apologize. And tell us, uh, tell the jury how 911 calls are generated and preserved. Um, any calls that come into the 911 center, whether they're 911 or not emergency, all those are recorded into a, a server. And how are the records uh, developed and maintained? What type of records are developed and maintained? We have written uh, reports also. We call them CAD reports. CAD stands for Computer Aided Dispatch. It's our computer system that when a call comes into the call processor, uh, they take that information and put it in the computer and it's sent over to dispatch to be dispatched out to the officer. Uh, at any time during that, anything that's put into the computer uh, by a dispatcher, a unit in the field, or a call processor that can be pulled out into a report at any time. And that is a written report? Yes, sir. And does it contain summaries or sometimes actual words spoken during the Yes, phone it call? does. On that road? Okay. What's the mark? Is it one? Yes, could you recognize that document? Yes, sir. This is one of our CAD reports. <coughs> and, uh, does that have a date and time for an event? Yes, it's uh, December 17, 2015. And uh, it does have a four then for associated 911 call to go with that event, is that correct? Yes, sir. So we really made this document look one. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. While well, I've got documents in my hand. Well, let me, uh, let me explain that. All right, folks, so we just marked this item as exhibit number one. We won't receive it into evidence. What that means is, is when I receive an item into evidence, we give it an exhibit number. That means it is a piece of proof that you will have with you during your deliberation to consider in this case. Now, the number we give them is no significance. Exhibit number one is no more, no less important than exhibit number 400. That just simply allows us to keep track. Now, you'll hear uh, throughout the course of the trial exhibit numbers being given. You can write those in your notes if you want to. You'll have all exhibits with you. There may be some holes, so we may not have exhibit number 35, for instance. It could be that we labeled something, decided not to use it in the case. It don't place any significance on any holes. John, really you know, for the interest of expediency on behalf of Mr. Bassett, and you want the others, but I'm not going to object to any of these CAD reports or these 911 ones. No one implies that. That was maybe make things more expedient for Jim. That's right. Very good, gentlemen. If you just present it well, I'll have a and the first CAD report was for an event that occurred where? Refer back to the. This first one was uh, for an incident over at Fort Promise in Virginia Avenue. Okay. That, what part of town is that, you know? Uh, it's in the northwest part. Okay. And the next the exhibit for Dr. Nile Candy has been marked exhibit number three. Is that a CAD report as well? Yes, it is. Sir. From what location? This is at 238 Dallas Street. Is there a time uh, stamp generated for when these calls were initiated? Yes, this one is at 7.18 p.m. 7.18 p.m.? Yes. I probably didn't ask you on the other one. Uh, this one is at 4.08 p.m. 4.08 p.m. 7.19. It's location on three. Um, on exhibit three. I mean, not location today. on December the 17th, 2015 at 10, 12 p.m. at 2704 Badgett Drive. Is that here in Knoxville? Yes, sir. In all these locations you described, are they here in Knox County? Yes, sir. And lastly, we'll do mark exhibit number seven. Tell us what that can do. Uh, this one happened on December the 18th of 2015 at 1.59 a.m. at 1904 Natchez Avenue. And as you told us, there are associated 911 calls with that. Yes, sir. <coughs> and uh, 
about to listen, I guess, to some 911 calls at the uh, <coughs> Fort Thomas in Virginia. Yes, sir. Here you'll be able to recognize that once they start playing, it's coming from <coughs> yes, sir. your system. Right. Call one, Don Thursday. December 17, 2015, and for 7 p.m., with a PMC offset of negative 300 minutes. Agent ID is extension to 211. Activity. So there's stress that we're going to come back? Yeah. 
over stupid stuff, like really stupid stuff. This is the worst place ever. Okay. All right, I'll let them know. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
That's not what you're going through with all the street. Because the man is around them, like it. No, I live like two houses from Alt. Okay. At the end of the block, it sounded like it was coming from west of my house. Toward Kirk Street, going that way. Okay. Oh my God. Did you want to? Let me 
we use the form of the shop to inspire everyone on You know, I think somebody knows I tried that to me. Because the car outside the building, and uh, these dudes are around this car, somebody in the car tried. Where at? Green the Oh, on the top. We don't want to just on the car and on the top. We just want to interview you. They'll see it. Oh, what kind of It's a black vehicle that's going to get in front of the building. Offset of 
approximately the 300 minutes, age of IV. It's, it's getting to 200 degrees.
Hall 1 on Friday, December 18, 2015 at 1.58 a.m. with a GMC offset of negative 300 minutes. Agent IC is extension to 207. Not standing out more ways
exposure to this case last night, or did anybody pre approach you to discuss this case? Anyone? All right, all hands are shaking. No, thank you, folks. Leave your notebooks and chairs. Enjoy your lunch. We'll see you in a little bit. See, you'll notice everybody's standing. That's out of respect for the role that you folks are playing. You may also notice that I'm not standing. It's not because I don't respect you, but it's because the judge represents the law, so normally the judge remains seated. We are ready to resume the direct examination of Mr. Mays. Sir, you understand you are still on our oath? Yes. All right, General, I think uh, you were going to get ready to introduce the good lady. Yes. Um, the good lady being the phone calls from the Natchez uh, uh, drive area that we heard right before lunch. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Good lady. Good lady. Good lady. Good lady. Good lady. If I'm approached with, uh, sir, that's a cat port. He's still out. That's right. Okay. Yes. If I'm approached, sir, ask if you recognize this document as well. Yes, sir. It's one of our cat reports from uh, April the second, two thousand sixteen, at three uh, midnight, three in the morning, three in. Okay. In what location is that? It's going to be at 1100 Little Little Power Drive. Okay. And uh, is that also in your town for Yes, sir. Here in Knox County. And there are a series of phone calls from that location that you put a copy to a disk, is that correct? Yes, sir. We moved, uh, it's actually marked exhibit 518. Any objection? No, no objection. No objection. All right, the uh, CAD report from April 2nd is uh, exhibit 518. Oh, hold on a second. Oh. Folks, uh, this projector uh, is kind of expensive, and I try to preserve the bulb, so I turn it off for lunch. 75% of the time when I do that, I forget to turn it back on. So we're going to sit here for two minutes while it warms up. Yeah, I think we just need the audio. Just the audio, though, if it, it played with that. Yeah, it, okay. it freezes my control, so it doesn't do anything. So while we're waiting, I'll tell you about our latest coaching searches since you can't read the media right now. Uh, Mel Tucker, the defensive coordinator for Georgia, is, seems to be one of the lead candidates. Uh, they're still considering minerals and that guy from SMU, Chad Morris. So who knows? We'll probably end up with Adam Jones, but Jones is uh, not on that. <laughs> That's where things stand. Anything big happens in the media, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Call <coughs> one on Saturday, April 2nd, 2016, at 12, 3 a.m. for the GMT offset of negative 240 minutes, agent ID, extension is 208. <coughs>
New York City is shot up here. And you said it's at Concrete Towers, correct? It's on at the Vista? In the, the police are down at the Vista. The, uh, the shooting happened up here at the steps. It's coming up, up this way. But the person, I'm afraid to go outside. No, that's fine. Uh, the huh. person was What the building where did it happen at? Uh, the C and D. Oh, well, there's other people out there, but I just saw the, the, uh, the gun and when well, he beat the gun, but I saw the, oh, God, I saw Did the, you see the person who shot him? I, I don't know if you saw him. It's really dark. I couldn't, uh, but the police are okay. out there now. Thank you for calling in there. Okay, thank you. Bye.
Designated, you indicated on direct examination when you were asked relative to this matter that you mentioned the term records custodian. Yes. What all does that entail? Um, I keep a uh, record. I get a request from agencies, the public, uh, various firms uh, to release information. For instance, if my office wanted information from a 911 call, we would submit it either through an investigator or I could make a public's rec excuse me, my tongue got tied. I could make a public records request for that information, correct? And then of course for whatever fees associated with it, then I would be provided with the disc similar to what we've we've already filed as the exhibits in this case, and then the CAD report, correct? That's correct. In the CAD report serves as the summary, if you will, the operating summary of what's on the disk, correct? That's right. All right. As the person responsible with 911, do you liaise with various law enforcement agencies? By that, I mean, do you communicate with them if, say, uh, Officer Leffler, Investigator Leffler, wanted a 911 recording or wanted a CAD report or wanted both, how would he go about inquiring 
concerning the same. Uh, he would he would send me a request or comment on the phone too. Okay, is that done via email or is that done via old-fashioned correspondence or a telephone? Um, it can be all of them. Okay. It, do you uh, also, in your capacity as the records custodian, uh, interact with members of the Attorney General's office? Yes, sir. And if they call and they ask for information relative to a um, 911 call, particular, uh, you furnish that to them. Is that correct? And it's fair to say that you then communicate with the Attorney General's office on uh, a fairly regular basis on not just this case but on any case right that's correct okay and prior to today when was the last time you or an agent of your office spoke communicated with could be email could be text about this case what we're sitting here on today the last time they asked for information yes sir probably at the first part of 2016. Okay. For information on it. Okay. What about the CAD report on Promise? Uh, is it Fort Promise? You know the one I'm talking about, the very first one. When was that CAD report? Because there, there's actually four separate calls, right? Yes. Okay. The CAD report. It struck me funny, and I, I, I don't know why. Can I, can I show you something? Sure. Okay. This CAD report, let me hand it to you. You see how it contains multiple dates and times? You're talking about the incident or you're Right, about there's a descriptor. You're on my approach, I'm sorry. You're fine. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't mean to be rude. Uh, you see how there's a there, there's multiple events like you know starts page one and that's like one call page one and two yes. page one and two page one right yes. okay now that is see right here listed as exhibit number one all right yes sir and that contains what we talked about was four calls right yes, sir. okay and then let's say that we look at exhibit, bear with me, three, and it contains two calls, right? Yes. Okay, and that was, what's the address on that one? 238 Dallas Street. Okay, and this one Contains and I what what's the address on this one? This is exhibit number seven. Yeah, that's at 1904 Natchez Avenue. And it contains one summary, right? Yes. Okay. One complete CAD. One complete CAD. <laughs> and then this one, the Lonsdale one. Yes. It contains a couple of CADs, doesn't it? Right. So every time we see page one, page two, and then we see start over again with page one, we know that it contains a couple of cabs, right? Correct. Did you bring these documents into the court this morning, or did the Attorney General's office furnish them to you? These right here were, were delivered. The date down here at the bottom is where it shows when I printed it off and sent it to the DA's office. Okay. And that, that's like this one was January 5th, 2016. This was December 21st, 2015. It's just a matter of when they requested by the date and what the address was and anything. See, I thought about that. Can you help me with something? I want you textually, you can feel. You know what I'm talking about with your fingers? I want you to feel one and tell me on these four exhibits, uh, and let me make sure I'm right, 518, 5, three and seven 
I want you to fill up at the upper left hand corner and I want you to tell me how many staples that you filled. How many staples do you fill on those four? On these three forms here? No, there's four. Okay. Number 518, now I'm going to fill one. I want you to fill them out. We're going to do some rough on that. Okay. Fill it. How many staples do you fill? I fill four. Right. One on each one. Yes, correct. Okay. I want you to fill the one on the Fort Promise, and I want you to tell me how many staples you fill. I fill two. Okay. I want you to turn to the last report on Fort Promise, and I want you to tell me the date that that report was produced, sir. It's down at the bottom. It's in the left-hand corner. It was uh, December 5th, 2017. What is today's say? Uh, December 5th, 2017. What is the one in front of it, Dave? This one was uh, January 5th, 2016. Year before, right? Yes, sir. Approximately. I mean, you yeah. know, I, I get it. You know, I'm not trying to split hairs. All these others, let's look on the they're all back in 16, aren't they? Uh, one of them is in the rest of 2015. All right. So, when I ask you if anybody had been in communication with your office, these folks can't procure stuff out of your office, can they? No. So that meant somebody was in communication with your office between yesterday and our opening statement and today, doesn't it? Yes. Your own records bear that out. Yes. You're the records custodian and you've already answered affirmatively that it wasn't you. Who was it? Okay, yes, they did, they did ask for me. Yes, sir. Did I not just I'm sorry, you? I was thinking prior to this when they asked for the documents. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm not trying to. No, I don't know. I haven't a gotcha moment here. No. But, but I did but, ask you that question yes, directly as yes, to when you got contacted about this, right? Yes. So the one in which, and I, I just so that we read into the record in this CAD report, the one report by, what's her name? Alicia Harris. Advising about baby's mother. Jasmine Mason. Boyfriend. Brandon Green. Wasn't requested until yesterday and produced until today, was it? That's right. Nothing further. Thank you, sir. Ms. Lee, any questions? Oh, I'm no. sorry. We're back to the stage. And I'll redirect you. Uh, uh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, no, I, I, I went out of order. They get it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no, this, just briefly, the phone calls that had been introduced, Excuse me. The, uh, those were generated at the time the calls were made, is that correct? That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The phone calls that we yes. heard, yes. they were from the dates that were listed, or yes. I guess automatically generated on those calls, is that correct? Yes. It's just the report that was, the CAD report that was generated after the request, is that correct? correct. Yes, that's correct. That's all. Just for clarification, what I was asking you about was the CAD reports, not the calls. I, I take no issue with them. Right. Okay. Yes. But the actual physical document yes. wasn't this produced until the morning. Yes. Did you print it off this morning? Yes. How did the Attorney General's office contact you this morning, or did they contact you last Another night? Their office called me yesterday afternoon after I left work and said that they had a request that I bring or provide them with this information on this call this morning. After my opening statement? No. No, before. Okay. After Vordire, I'm Paul. After Vordire. Or do you know, after we finished court yesterday? He doesn't know. Okay, that's fine. Awesome. Nothing further. Thank yeah. you. Uh, just so we're clear, the request was made by Mr. Jones through our office. You understand that? He was I object to that, and that is absolutely okay, right. Listen, hold it right now. You can say objection, but we're not going to have this arguing and raise voices in here. There's no point in that. So what is the basis of your objection? My objection is the fact that it had nothing no, to do with no, my request. What is the basis of your object? what my is objection? My objection is he's stating facts and information, not in evidence, and he's misstating stuff. He's not making... What is your question? Let me ask another question. 
are these records, these CAD reports, these phone calls, are they available to defense lawyers anytime they want to get them? Yes. That's all. Thank you. All right. Ms. Lee. No. Ms. Rogers. Nothing special. Ms. Jones. And you're aware that my office had requested that, aren't you? I was served a subpoena to bring information with me, which I did. But Nothing further. Yes. 